Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. South Africa's newly established broad-based Black Economic Empowerment Commission this week highlighted fronting as one of the biggest abuses of the country's Triple BEE Act. Journalist Natasha Widendahl was at a conference held this week by the Commission and she joins me now. Welcome Natasha. Thank you. Natasha, what exactly is fronting and how is it a threat to the country's Triple BEE Act? Well, fronting actually comes in many forms. Um, it's increasingly getting complex and harder to detect. Basically, it boils down to companies presenting surface achievements um, with the Triple BEE Act to obtain extra score points or points for the scoreboard. They structure Triple BEE equity deals, um, but while it looks good on paper, the benefits aren't actually flowing to the people that it's supposed to be or were intended to benefit from it. Black shareholders are also used sometimes for biz bidding purposes so that the companies can actually get um, government contracts, benefit more from government contracts, but are more often than not, they're not actually involved in the core activities of the business. They're not um, benefiting as they should be benefiting um, from the businesses in its normal form of, of, of activity. And further, it's basically just on paper to make the company look good. Further, with employees, um, in some cases, companies are now being accused of actually using employees without their knowledge to be deemed as a shareholder, without them um, actually benefiting from how they should if they were actually in the position that the companies are telling them that they are. Further than that, they're also creating all these schemes, um, all these um, types of funds and trusts and all of that. But the benefits that are supposed to also flow to the black shareholders, the black people, the black employees that are in there, are not actually are not actually filtering down at all. So basically, the companies are fronting the BEE Act. They're not they're not abiding by it. They're not complying by it, and they're just making it look as if they are. Uh, the Triple BEE Commission. Um, why exactly was it established, and what has it accomplished to date? Well, the uh, Commission is actually a fairly new establishment. What it aims to achieve I is to actually close the loopholes that have been discovered with the initial BE Act of 2003. Um, it was in 2013 that actually the DTI decided to amend the Act, and the result was this Commission. Um, in February, that actually uh, published the draft regulations that would outline the structure of what this commission would be tasked with. Now the whole idea behind it is to actually have this commission oversee the act, um, have it properly implemented if you will, um, to make sure that it's actually implemented or promulgated the way it's actually supposed to be as set out in the, in the original act. Uh, the commission um, aims to aggressively eliminate any of these practices, um, these loopholes, that actually inhibit the growth of the economy as well, the participation, equality, and everything that the uh, B Act stands for and was actually made for. The Commission will accept complaints um, of companies or even, you know, just basic hints or tips, you know, from public about who they think is actually fronting or who they think is actually not being compliant with the Act or any such thing like that that relates to the Act and they will investigate the Commissioner that will have full control over or well, will actually just oversee everything to do with that Act. The Commission will also just make sure that the Triple B Act was actually, that actually achieves the goals it was meant for. Um, the Commission operates under the Department of Trade and Industry under Minister Dr. Rob Davies and um, it's just starting to find its feet. It's only now started operations recently. It's only starting to find its, seat, uh, its feet so there's been no precedent made or anything like that. The whole aim of, it, of this Commission now is to go out there and educate and inform and let South Africa know this is what it's there for and also accept inputs from the public as to what needs to be done to further the ambitions of the Act. Tell me more about what was highlighted at the Commission's conference and what can we expect from the Triple BEE Commission in future? All right, well, basically the conference was mostly about fronting. Um, the whole aim of the conference was to just educate and inform the public 
businesses, anybody really who has any interested stakeholders about what is fronting, how it actually affects you, um, how it inhibits the economy, how it stunts our growth, and so on and so forth. And then the, the Commission had a whole bundle of speakers there that unpacked, you know, how we can prevent this, what can be done to actually avoid this in the future or eliminate any form of, you know, non-compliance altogether um, with the Triple B Act. The uh, whole idea as well behind the um, conference was to just give an overview of what the Act actually is, why the DTI had to amend the Act in 2013, and then what, what it actually stands for. Um, other th highlights that came out of it was, was its um, peripheral legislation policies um, and anything that's in line to help economic development, um, such as the Black Industrialist Program that the DTI is also running. It also aimed to un well, unpack really what the Triple BE Advisory Council was for, and it was just a platform to you know, launch the uh, Commission's um, awareness program to get people involved because it's so new to get people to understand what it is they're going to do. And now that you know that they've gotten off their feet, they're going to start investigations. They're going to start laying the groundwork. And hopefully they'll set a precedent and, and it could work in the future of how they would guide them in the future and of how they operate. Thanks, Natasha. That's the second take show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.